would you look at that? He's already got the SS unloaded. That, my friends, is a fishing partner for you. You gonna go catch some big cats or what? Dad? You gonna go catch some big cats? Yeah, my prediction 30 incher. That's what I'm predicting. <laughs> Just a 30 incher? Yep. At least one. I'm going for at least 36. 36? That's a big cat. Let's go then. Let's go then. I'm ready for uh, my masters. <laughs> You can say one nice thing about your tournament partner. What would it be? That you got a nice boat. <laughs> you want to describe to us uh, what we're fishing and why we're fishing it? We're fishing in about uh, 17 feet right here. Um, current slick going up against uh, some Snags. dead fall. Um, we're fishing right before the deadfall, so hopefully uh, we can get some of the fish coming out of the deadfall. Um, kind of looking for some holes, looking for some deeper holes in the river. Uh, around Fargo area, you're probably going to find 17 to 18 feet is probably your biggest holes that you're going to find. Um, There's a couple 22s. Yeah, they're... 25s, but very pretty rare and the river's not nearly as wide as it is down by Grand Forks right. Drayton area and catfishing is I got I got one going here actually found some like a son of a gun okay. And that, my friend, is how you miss a catfish. This dude can't hook a fish. Yeah, but he'll probably get the biggest one of the night, I'm sure. Freaking suck. I suck right now. I don't know why. You got circle hooks on. I don't know. They should be hooking themselves. For anybody wanting to get into catfishing, and we're not catfishing pros at all. No. We're, we just do this for fun when it's hot and walleye fishing slows down. A guy can really get into to catfishing with an easy setup, cheap setup, for about, what would you say, 50 bucks with the rod reel and maybe some weights, some and hooks. weights hooks. And you could always pick up cut bait at the local bait shops. Bait shop. I'm using here in Fargo. Uh, number four uh, Damagatsu hooks, circle hooks. Oh, you should, those are number six, I think, aren't they? 
Nope, number four, size four. I've got a three ounce flat weight. The reason why I like to use flat weights is so they don't roll. So it just lays nice and flat in the, in the current. With about a... Pretty simple technique. About an eight inch Schnell. Eight or 10 inch Schnell. Um, right I now like we're to using use... some chubs and some cut bait. As you can see, we made a nice little, nice little board so we can hold our rods um, out of a pedestal. It's kind of homemade deal, but it works great for what we need it for. It does. The cats are going. They're just not gi giants. They're not sumo cats. They're good sized cats, though. Yeah, they're fun. Definitely fun. Especially on these lighter bait caster rods that we normally use for bottom bouncing but they work and he just got smoked right into oh, a snag right that fish smoked it oh. Let's see if he can he'll swim out of it feel him yep. see if he'll swim give him a little bit of line I might have to horse him out of there after he swims a little bit. He just took you in farther, huh? I can see it. I can see that fish throbbing. I'm pulling one in here. Oh yeah. Oh got all wet. We ain't done yet. That's a wrap on a day on the Red River. Uh, we got quite a few number wise. Um, not a lot of big ones. I'm using cut suckers. Cut Creek Chubs, that's what we had frozen. So not a bad day. It was kinda of fun to get out for the evening. Till next time.